November 17th through the 24th marks the 30th anniversary of Miami Book Fair International. It's a huge event going on all week. In fact, there'll be over 500 authors in town, and here are two of them. Miriam Auerbach first, and then Andrew Kaufman. Hi, Miriam. Welcome to our show. How are you? I'm good. Thanks for having me, Dave. So this is really fun. I, I can't wait to talk to you about this. So, so you're going to be there November 23rd for a book you've written called Dirty Harriet. Yes, that's it's right. A, it's a mystery book. It is. Uh, tell me about it. Dirty Harriet is obviously a takeoff on the character of Dirty Harry. Um, so she is um, similar to Dirty Harry in some ways. She's a strong, silent type of character, but she's a woman. Um, Dirty Harriet uh, is a former Boca Babe. Uh, many of you, I'm sure, know what a Boca Babe is, and I'm sure you do too, Dave. Right. Um, but uh, basically, a Boca Babe is, is a highly enhanced, high maintenance, high end consumer. Sure, um, I've dated a few. Yes. <laughs> I see. Yeah, sure. Okay, so you know all about it. Right. Um, and typically, they, they end up being married to high income men. Um, but in that kind of fairy tale, there's often a dark side, and that was the case for my character of Dirty Harriet. She found herself in an abusive marriage, and she stayed in that for 10 years. But one day, she'd had enough, and her husband raised his fists at her one last time, and she told him, go ahead, make my day. Right. And he did, so she grabbed a 44 Magnum that just kind of happened to be lying around, and she shot him through the heart. Wow. And <laughs> So that happens on page one of book one. You don't waste any time. You get right into it. <laughs> right. Yeah. And that book actually won an award for best first romance of the year. That's a romance. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. I was right. like, uh, not. I thought it was a mystery, but okay, I'll take a romance award. Right. I'm assuming um, the romance was not with him. It exactly. Else. Uh, right. Actually, that, I guess that was kind of it. There's really not much romance after that. Um, Harriet chucks her old life. Um, because she realizes she needs to escape, and you know, anytime you need to escape sort of an addictive lifestyle, you have to get away from it entirely. So she gets rid of everything Boca wise. She moves out to the Everglades. She buys a little log cabin out there. She buys a Harley. She becomes a Harley biker, and she becomes a private investigator. Uh, okay, cool. <laughs> uh, and you and I were, were talking earlier, so when you write mysteries, and you're, you're, that's your genre, mm. you, you um, think of fun and different ways to off people. Yes, yes. Yeah, that's a little more. <laughs> um, it can be, but um, it's a lot of fun. And in fact, I have uh, told my husband, you know, that if anything ever happens <laughs> to him, um, <laughs> that I, whatever I was searching for on the internet was, was strictly for fiction <laughs> purposes and uh, not reality. Um, but yeah, my computer uh, cache is just full of, you know, ways to kill people, wow. be it poison, strangulation, um, drowning, um, you know, overdose. You Gosh, know. <laughs> do, do, you ever, do you ever research one or come up with one on your own and go, ooh, that's really creepy? Yeah. Have you, ever, you ever sort of freak yourself out? Um, a bit. Um, in fact, this, this book, Dirty Harriet, has a very, very nefarious um, plot that I, I made up. And I, it, I thought it was kind of on the edge of science fiction, but a couple years later, it actually happened. So. Wow. Okay. Well, we don't <laughs> want to spoil it. So, yeah. <laughs> so let's just mention how people, how and when people can meet you at the fair. Well, um, there's a couple ways. I'm going to be there on Saturday, November 23rd. I will be at the Mystery Writers of America booth, along with a number of other um, South Florida mystery writers, and we're going to be there all day, um, meeting the public and happy to sign books for anyone that, that comes by. Uh, I'm also going to be appearing on a panel that day uh, at noon with three other mystery writers, so I would love to see people come to that. So place. fun. And if people approach you and ask you for ways to get rid of their boss, <laughs> what, do, what do you say? <laughs> well, I'll, I'll say, let's speak hypothetically, all right? <laughs> right. If, if someone wanted to kill their boss, uh, here are right. some ways one might go Use about it. Use a lot it. of this. Yes. Do this a lot. <laughs> yes. uh, so great to meet you and enjoy the book fair. Uh, yes, and thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Hope to see many people out there. Yeah, be fun. our pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. All right. <laughs>